So hello, my first question is, uh, could you please ask, uh, could you please introduce yourself and uh, also explain in three sentences the project you are presenting here? Absolutely. My name is Lauren Lindstrom. I'm an associate professor at the University of Oregon in the College of Education. And I've been at the Zero Project to talk about a program called the Youth Transition Program, or YTP. The Youth Transition Program prepares young people with disabilities to make that transition from high school into either career-related training or directly into employment. And since 1990, we've served about 20,000 students, and we have about an 85% success rate. Oh. <laughs> uh, so what do you think are the three main reasons that makes this project so successful? Well, I think it starts off by being individualized. Each young person gets to choose their goal. They, we look at their strengths and their interests and their preferences, and we build a plan around those individualized needs and interests. That's really important. The other piece is flexibility, I would say. Um, this is a model that we've used in both rural and large urban communities, and we have a set of essential features, but those get modified depending on the community and the community needs. The last piece I would say would be infrastructure. We have a state level infrastructure, a state management team that sets benchmarks, performance benchmarks. We evaluate the program continuously and that state level structure also provides support to all the staff that are implementing the program and, and that's worked very effectively for us. Okay. Um, when you think about internationalizing this uh, project, uh, do you see any obstacles for this in other countries? I think it's a little bit unique, the Youth Transition Program, in that we have a shared funding model, but that's not to say that couldn't work in other places. Our shared funding model includes public schools and then a federally funded rehabilitation agency, and so being able to figure out that structure and that process in another country might look a little different, but I think it's definitely possible um, to collaborate and to build partnerships that can be really successful. Uh, and the last question, uh, what are your impressions of the Zero Project Conference so far and also what is your wish for the future? I think it's fantastic to have this group of people here and such a range of people from governments, from policy people, from business people. That was really exciting to hear everybody's perspective on the same issue and that it really is a global issue. My hope for the future would be that we could continue the momentum that starts here and to be able to translate that to lots of different countries um, all around the world. Thank you very much.